Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. welcome back to my T0 to T6 Abyss series. I'm going to be searching for the Skybreaker Disparo Troop because I want to find him, see how we tank with just one armor pair. I think we'll go good, but I just want to find him just to make sure. Um, we're going to be selling our loot we got from last time because I didn't actually manage to sell it. And we got a whopping 5 million right here, that's quite nice to see. Okay, we'll just do electric, tranquil electric, we've got one here. Could be used to do more sites later, but 5 million from the two sites. Actually, that's not too that's not too good. Actually, I would have liked to see three million for, for per site. We got more than two point five, like two million almost per site. And I think that's an average amount of loot you can get. But it would be nice to see you get loot on the upper end of the spectrum. Uh, before we discussed a lot of upgrading our ship further to give even more DPS, I think it might be a bit overkill, especially for the safety we're sort of sacrificing. But at the same time, I really like the idea. Of going with a triple heatsink so we remove this put a heatsink here and put uh remove the damage control put quad lif instead of a compact and then we put a small armor repair and then we put multi-spectrum coating multi-spectrum coating like that and then we just remove this capacitor control circuit here because we're going to have cap stable in the electrical site and then we put an overclock small processor overclock tech one Oof, look at that we've already got some good resists tech 2 coating is pretty powerful we're, since we're training the compensation skills we'll get even more resists in due time tech 2 armor pair is pretty powerful and then overall we're just gonna have a really good time we're gonna have a really good time um the dps 159 dps is pretty solid right there i must say so we're going to continue on our journey into the T0 Abyss and I want to see if we can hopefully find some Skybreakers because I want to just see how good our tack fares right here because it's going to be a big difference cutting our armor, armor repair rate almost by half. We're going to, we've are going we got two enduring armor pairs so I mean we've not got two tech twos so a single rep we would have would be that better than one of these but still I want to just see how we fare, how it feels. It's good to get a bit of feeling for how one repper will feel like. So we'll go here and get to work last time we made some strides project discovery we're almost level uh, 20 we're soon not, we're at 18. it would be great to get the superior crates because they give a bit more isk uh, than the standard ones and it's after a certain level you get them i can't remember which level but i think it is level 20. go here activate uh go to abyssal trace and activate the site Come on, come on, come on. Get in range, get in range. There we go. Mm -hmm. Here is clearly two cell clusters. It's glitching out a bit when I press somewhere and then it just presses it down here. It's quite annoying. Okay, we'll move these to the boundary right here. And we'll activate armor repair and the multi spectrum. Put the ultraviolet and we can't lock up stuff because we're in a crappy tech one chip please got a nice volley right there nice volley indeed okay now we're gonna go with the buy commit to cash i can't open it because i have to press exactly on this icon right here and 400k not so great not so great but it's something get a little bit of extra isk right there now i'm holding down q and double clicking here to get a good transversal and here is just one big blobby i think one big blobby. We could keep a range of this guy at five kilometers and just go blast him down with multi frequency. Uh, hmm, this is a quite a complex one right here. I think we've got one here. And then we've got one here. And then we've got one here. Come on, we're not hitting anything. Oh, that's not nice to see. Now we're moving a little bit further away, we can actually do some decent damage because of tracking issues. That's the bit of the problem with going with beams. You can have some tracking issues at times. Uh, the retribution will be so great because it will have so good range that we can just, and good targeting range, that we can just snipe these little rogue drone frigates off the field before we even get close to them. And it'll do a lot of damage even with the long range ammunition, so it won't take a long time even with just the long range at low dps ammunition now we can lock up start shooting completely missed and go for this one over here popped 
stop because we've got Tachyon Cloud over there. Would not be great to fall into that. Keep it range, five kilometers. I'm a bit worried about using the commands like keep it range when we've got Tachyon Cloud in range. Because, I mean, this Lucid Escort could decide just jump into that Tachyon Cloud and I'm going to be keeping range of five kilometers all the time. And what will happen then? I'll be increasing my speed and I'll be increasing my speed to ludicrous speeds. <laughs> I'll be like four or five kilometers a second. Could easily be flung out of the arena. And that is not a good time right there. Because our ship is starting to get a bit pricey even with the Tech 2 modules. It's starting to get a little bit pricey. Can I get a Skybreaker Disparo Troop? The Skybreaker Disparo Troop is quite a rare wave, I feel. Um, it's not that common. I don't find it so often. I've like tested many T0 fits where I just want to find that wave because that is sort of a pretty difficult wave. And I've been trying to find him and multiple fits, not just one, but multiple fits trying to find him. And it's never been a good time. Never been a good time to find him because he's pretty rare, it feels. I've been finding Damavix, Lucid Guys, Angels, everything in the world apart from the Skybreakers until finally I find them takes usually quite a long time uh, we can keep a little bit of range right here and here I think there's two actually there's three I think I think there's three keep it range 10 kilometers we're using all of Traviler anyway Preferably, I should use, be using multi-frequency though. It is already loaded into my beam laser, so I'm not too worried. If he could just die already. And unfortunately, tracking is not that great. So it would be a lot better to use multi-frequency right now. I'm just a bit lazy. I should not be lazy. It's not a good thing. But we completed the wave anyway. We completed it anyway. Continuing on our project discovery progression, becoming a PhD in analyzing flow cytometry data. We are getting pretty good at going through these project discoveries Warp at a decent rate. Active. I want to just get the superiors because I feel like, and I feel like we will have really achieved a lot. We're not even at level 19 yet. Okay. So we'll check at level 20. I think it's level 20. Not guaranteeing it, but I think it is level 20. Get the spirit. Oh, 1.3 million right there. Docking permission requested. Docking request That's like accepted. That's like raw No taxes. No nothing. No strings attached. That's just raw isk. It's not a lot. But for us, it means a lot. Okay, put these in here. Mm, we've got Tranquil Electricals. We do not need... Why did we put it in here? We do not want to have these in the filament box. <laughs> we'll sell them later. Okay. We could have actually just waited outside the Abyss Trace to be able to do our start straight away because we wasted a bit of time now traveling to Jita. I just have sort of a bit of a routine to go to... I regret to inform you that your submission was lost. Okay. I have a bit of a routine to just dock up straight away at a station after an abyss site because I've been really, like in the high tiers, especially T4 and up, you get a lot of uh, like loot that fills up your cargo by quite a bit degree. So, I mean, if you go into like a second site, then you're just going to be full on cargo and it'll be just complete waste. And... Come on now. Come on now. Approach this. We need to get level 19. Soon there. I want to get to level 20. Okay, now I can enter the abyss site. Okay, good. And this is obviously just one big one right here. And like people, I think, I remember when this came out, people were saying that doing big boxes like this is just like stupid. And it's not stupid, actually, because that's the way it's supposed to be. You can like, remove this. Like People were saying, oh, you have to be very like precise. You have to be like around the cells exactly. But no, you just as long as you encapsulate the distinct cell clusters and include as much as possible, that is the best thing to do. Uh, 
it's just that you have to like sort of encapsulate everything otherwise you can make big boxes that's exactly what they want you to do so don't worry about making your big boxes like we're doing right now that's what is supposed to be done and i know this because i emailed particularly the i think it was the professor or the the doctor or who is responsible for the project right here he at least told me personally in an email that doing these big boxes is perfectly fine that's how it's supposed to be done so that's my source a good source i would say the people who made this <laughs> okay we've got now level um 19 soon we will get level 20 level 20 here we come we're a little bit too far should be at five kilometers because we're keeping it at 10. Like when you say keep a range 7.5 it keeps range basically at 10 kilometers and if we keep a range five kilometers we keep a range 7.5 it's just the way it works got a bit of inertia bouncing you back and forward so i should have kept a bit of a closer range like even now we're not even using our mwd or anything with that afk and even then we've got <laughs> we've got pretty uh, uh we hardly took any damage it just goes to show how powerful this puncher is right here I think this is probably a biggie blob. It looks quite complex. There could maybe be more patterns inside of it, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Open up this 600k. There we go. Next room. And go for this one. Do we unlock 25? That's when we get this shirt right here. It doesn't don't think it's that uh valuable at all because these shirts tend to be skins and the shirts they tend to be just really dirt cheap but i think the special skins for the marshal and enforcer and they can be quite spicy in terms of their isk i think the marshal skin costs like about a few hundred million now we should have shot this by a cumulative cash one fourth of the way to level 20. one fourth of the way to level 20. And shoot, please. There we go. Grab the loot. Okay. 500k, hardly anything. Keep a range 5 kilometers. Okay, good. So that's also why we weren't able to keep range properly in the. Oh, 1.2 million. In the previous wave with the Fialtis because we weren't using our MWT. <laughs> that's the stuff that happens when you're paying too much attention to flow cytometry charts instead of piloting your spaceship through uncharted depths of territory where if you get killed and there's no one there to save you and the only way you can get out is to fight your way out like we're doing right now <laughs> it's the whole thing right here there's one tiny cell up there you see Skill uh, training ooh, explosive armor compensation you see these skills right here so now we've got tw uh what is this now no we don't see it because we're not using the multi-spectrum but if we go for example this fire support right here that uses a multi-spectrum here you see 12.9 and 12.3 on everything else it's great to see great to see compensation skills i thought they were really bad but they're actually a lot better than i thought they would be okay next room lucid escort easy peasy keep it range five kilometers no tachyon clouds oh wait no never more there's a massive one over here okay uh, but it's not really close to the gate so it's okay hmm. uh, ultraviolet pop this right here there we go and lock up the lucid escort oh this is a bit of a complex one right here i think there's multiple ones it might be here it might be here it might also be here i'm gonna start shooting and we should be using multi-frequency can i please oh. Uh, I think it's because I had to open it up again. Let's move this to the side. Put our multi frequency in. Keep it range. No, we want to keep a range of five kilometers and go with the multi frequency to get max DPS. And there's one, just one big blobby over here. Lucid Escort is not really escorting anyone, so I'm not sure why is he called an escort. He's escorting himself, baby. Maybe there's some special crew on the ship that he's escorting. But it doesn't seem like that person is escorting a particular amount of people. Oof. 
Ah, Dak is from Project Discovery, man. It's just so great to see. So great to see. What is our total ISK right here? 27 million! So we are, in fact, earning the Dak ISK. Slowly but surely. Surely but surely. Active. When I should do that, the T6 videos with you guys, the ISK just comes in like that. So it really is humbling to go back to the lowest tier, the lowest of the low tier of Abyss. You know, I was actually looking at like loot tables you can get for different Abyss sites and the Abyss Tracker is a very good website, I'd highly recommend. Um, and T2 Docking Abyss requested. Request in a cruiser accepted. gives on average the same amount of ISK as doing T1s in a frigate. And I think that's quite interesting because on the other hand, it feels like, oh, why would you bother wasting your ISK on a cruiser like a Zealot, for example, for doing T2 Abyss when you could may as well just do T1s in the Retribution. But I was thinking, I think that it might be the case that a Zealot does the T2s quicker than a Retribution would do T1s. I think it might be the case because even though the Retribution is a lot less DPS, but there is a lot like um, fewer entities in the T1s. So you think, okay, maybe we'll go quick because there's like so few um, ships. But the thing is, the Zealot will do so much more damage and have very good range. I mean, the Retribution has also very good range, but it'll be do so much more damage that I think it would be quicker to do the T2s than the T1s. And the special thing about the T2s is that even though the is on average is the same, it will be quite fun, I think, because uh, we will have a higher potential of getting the good drops since it tends to be the higher you go up the tier list, the more likely it is to get the higher tier filaments. So we'll be getting more T3 filaments then we will be getting it in a T2, then we'll be getting in a T1. So I think that it might be an interesting thing to see if we were able to get like a lot of T3 filaments that are worth quite a bit of ISK or quite a bit more ISK than the T2 ones. But I mean, they're not still not worth crazy prices. I think the most expensive T3 is uh, a fierce electrical, if we go here, fierce electrical filament. Yeah, I mean, 800k this is hardly anything so it's me it's not okay never mind then i guess it's not really worth a whole lot it's got fierce 60 60 uh 2 million gamma so those would be a good ones to get exotics would be also pretty nice to get okay abyssal loot put this into here and we can sell everything right here we can even make a crate for junk just like i have on my main character so freight uh no. Oh. Sell all these. No, actually, we need to do Tranquil. Electrical. Those are the ones we need for doing later. Elements. Now we control A and sell everything. Okay. And do we still have the electrical? Yep. Okay. So there's some freight containers we can get there. Um, but I think that otherwise it could be either that we do the retribution in like T1s, which we will be doing. But then when we get a zealot, we could start off getting used to it in the T2s and then go T3s. Because I think T3s will be still very easy and we'll be getting quite a bit more isk than frigates doing T1s. And the thing that's great about the T3s is that we can get a higher likelihood to get T4s. And T4s are filaments that are actually worth a lot. Like uh, electrical 8 million, exotic 6 million, gamma 12 million. So I mean... Even though T3s are not going to get like, crazy ISK like I do in my other videos, it's still going to be quite a good amount of ISK. They're going to be also quite easy in the Zealot as well. Um, with a total ISK balance now, 32 million, so it's quite good to see. Oof, oof, oof. I mean, we can soon afford our retribution, in fact, if we look here. Support, it's 57 million. The fitting is still not that great, and I found a solution. We can just put a small PB, PB battery right here and it fits perfectly and the, fit, the the capacitor is obviously not going to be as good so if we have capacitor problems we can always put cap battery tech 2 uh no not tech 2 but this is the original one which we will with max skills be able to use but i mean look at tech 2 is 111 percent minus 116 minus so it's not a big difference but we can always put republic fleet small cap battery and this is another alternative it is a bit more expensive 50, 14 million but I think it could be an alternative as well. So let's just try to finish up getting level 20. Because I just wanted to do that real quick. Because I wanted to see if we would be able to get flow cytometry superior ones. 
after we have uh, got level 20. Otherwise, it is level 25 then. Flow cytometry rewards crit. Okay, so we didn't get any of that. Let's just see if we can... Did it tell you what the next... Okay, so we'll be getting uh, still flow cytometry rewards crit. Okay, so it's probably level 25 then, or maybe level 50. But, yeah, we're at least level 20 for Project Discovery, so it's nice to see. Continued crabbing, continued discussion about future plans. It's interesting, it's interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.